So welcome back everyone, Mike here. The leaves are finally starting to hit the ground here in western Pennsylvania. It has been a long time coming. We are way behind this year. And this year I've actually been looking forward to blowing leaves. I've never felt that way in the past. Uh, over the years I will spend anywhere from 50, 60 hours a season just trying to get all the leaves out of the yard. And if you don't do it, you end up with mud all winter, everything gets packed down and wet and they start kind of deteriorating and and it just turns into a big mess for springtime so it's best to keep your leaves out of the yard now a lot of people will tell me they'll watch our videos and say you know what you should just mulch them up with the mower or you should compost them it's impossible we get so many leaves here especially in this section of lawn here behind us uh, they're just overwhelming and you have to get them out of the yard so we have a chain link fence there in the back it's a you know like a vinyl coated chain link and that fence sits up off the ground about this high and some places a little more some places a little less so what you do is you blow all the leaves over to that fence and then you get right up against it and you get all the leaves into the woods and outside of the yard. And it works pretty well and what that does, that fence though will keep them from coming back in. So that's the goal each season is to get all the leaves out of the yard, other side of the fence, down the driveway, I'll get them both, you know, to both sides over in the woods. And that video the other day I did a little bit of leaf blowing, I, there's like 10 comments about me blowing leaves on the road. I don't leave leaves on the road, leave leaves. I don't leave leaves on the road. There may have been a little bit got on there. I blew them off. That stuff I blew over the bank, there's a big ditch line there and they sit in there until they start kind of rotting and deteriorating and I'll get them out of there with the loader on the tractor. But don't panic. There was like 10 comments. Someone must be in a battle with their neighbors over the leaves or something, but that's not how we roll around here. Everything's good. So you've seen the steel BR700 backpack blower and this thing is a beast. But today we're going to take a look at the steel BR800X. on the left you've seen that in other videos I've been using it and that thing is a beast on the right is the steel BR 800 X I haven't used it yet that is a demo unit right there but I'm looking forward to trying it out and seeing if there's that big of a difference between it and this BR 700 first we're gonna go over the specs on both of them the BR 700 has a 64.8 cc engine compared to a 79.8 cc on the BR 800 the 700 has 3.8 horsepower, the 800 has 4.4 horsepower. Fuel tank capacity on the 700 is 47.3 ounces, and on the 800 it is 67.6 ounces. Uh, max air velocity on the 700 is 197 miles per hour. On the 800 it is 239 miles per hour. That is unbelievable. So it's 79.8 cc, and it puts that 239 miles per hour max air velocity. That engine on that thing, it's like having a go-kart strapped on your back. Both of them weigh about the same, just a little over 23 pounds. Now there's a couple different variations on the BR800. Notice this one is the X. The X has a stationary nozzle on it. The C has an adjustable nozzle like the BR700 has. So you can see here on the BR800, this, this nozzle is stationary. On the 700, it's adjustable. You turn that collar and you can bring it in and out. I usually run it you know, fully extended anyways, so I think the X would be fine for me. So the BR800 is also available with what they call the side start. You know, both the uh, 700 and the 800 here behind me, they've got the pull rope on the back, like you've seen on all backpack blowers. Well, this new side start, I did see one the other day. I got to use it for just a little bit. Uh, but after you do your cold start, you know, and it's running for a while, and someone comes up and talks to you and you shut it off, you don't have to take it off, restart it, and put it back on. 
the start rope's right on the side. There's just like a handle on it, and you just pull it out like that, and it fires right up. It worked really well when I got to try it the other day. I don't have one of those here to show you today, uh, but I probably will in the future to check one out. But I think it's a pretty good option. Now, for me, with these backpack blowers, you know, they're, what do I say, 23 pounds, something like that. When I'm putting one of them on, you know, when the leaves really start hitting the ground, I'll probably run it until I run out of fuel. Uh, so I don't really shut it off that often, unless, like I said, somebody comes up to talk to you or, or for some reason like that. But I can see in, you know, different applications if you're starting and stopping it several times where that side start would be very, very handy for some people. But anyway, we're going to try both these things out. I'm going to get Melissa out here and uh, we're going to see if we can see a noticeable difference between the 700 and the 800. I got new boots and new glasses and some really nice ear protection, hearing yeah. protection, because they're really not protecting my ears, it's only protecting my hearing. They're actually uh, my glasses, but the boots are yours. Well, these aren't your glasses anymore. <laughs> so you have run the 700 yeah. before. Yeah. I have not run the 800 yet. What do you, can you tell a difference? The 700 is powerful. Blows the leaves off the trees, and you can tell that the 800 is its older brother. Really, is a big difference? Yeah. It's, it, yeah, there's a big difference. When, so what's gonna happen here is, we're just kinda keeping things cleaned up a little bit now, but in a matter of a few weeks, it is like, the leaves will be like a foot thick here, and we'll really put these things through the test. Yeah. But I just want to try it out here this evening. I'm going to run the 800 for a little bit now. And then I'll get back to you and let you know what I think of it. There's a big difference between the two.
Okay, to give you some idea how much uh, air this thing's moving, Melissa's gonna go over and blow those uh, leaves up on the tree. Now when you're out and about driving down the road, if you look around you'll see landscape trailers. You know those contractors are going back and forth from job to job. And if you ever pay attention to the mowers on their trailers, there's usually five or six different brands. Uh, it's whichever one they like the most. But around here, consistently, if you look at the backpack blowers that they have, at least 90% of them are steel backpack blowers. And there's a reason for that. Those guys know what they're doing and these things are just fantastic machines. When I first got the uh, BR700, I couldn't believe it that I spent all those years using my old one. I mean, I spent 40, 50, 60 hours a year getting rid of leaves. When these things hit the ground finally, it won't take me any time at all to get everything cleaned up. Now, as far as the 800 compared to the 700, the way I see it's like this. It'd be kind of like, you know, you're out to a restaurant and you have the best piece of steak you ever had in your life and you're like, man, that thing is delicious. It doesn't get any better than that. That's the BR700. And the next time you go, it's even better. That's the way I see this. They're both really good blowers. I can tell a noticeable difference between the 800 and the 700. Uh, and one thing on that 800, it has that fixed nozzle. I kind of like that over the adjustable one. It's a little lighter and it just seems to flex a little bit easier when you're going back and forth. But all in all, these, both, either one of them is a great blower. The 800 just, it does move more air and it's a beast and uh, so is the 700 but uh, it's the beast big brother I guess you could say I think that's what Melissa said blowing leaves is one of those things I'm not a big fan of doing it I kind of rather do something else but it needs done so something like this is really really useful for me because if I can knock 20 30 hours a year off of blowing leaves by having one of these it makes all the sense in the world to me but anyway, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and you know what, when you do, hit that little bell icon beside it and you'll get notifications and uh, share them with your friends. Thanks.